thinking about starting your own pet business? <laughs> It can be overwhelming since you don't know where to look or what to think about or even how to start. This is a big decision and I know you don't wanna get in over your head or feel like you've made the wrong decision. In this video, I will share three avenues that you could take to become your own pet boss. Hi, my name is Candice Daniolo and I help pet business owners improve their marketing, increase their sales and become better employers so that they can meet their financial goals and have a life Life outside of their business. Before we dive in to how you can break into the pet industry, make sure to download my free Get Started in the Pet Industry Guide in the description below to help you take the next steps to starting your pet empire. Here are the three ways to break into the pet industry. Avenue number one, start from scratch. Building your dream from the ground up will take a lot of time and patience, it will, but it gives you the freedom to make every single choice along the way. You'll certainly have questions and make mistakes but each mistake is a lesson learned. You get to choose your name, your location, branding, the product or service selection, and keep all the profit for yourself. Well, after paying taxes, of course. And although not required by any means, a previous business experience at running a small business or working at one will take you a long way here with this avenue. And of course, my company, Pet Boss Nation, is available to support you through our YouTube channel, podcast, blog, and business mentoring program, The Pet Boss Club. I'll link to the details on how to find each below in the description. Avenue number two, become a franchisee. It's like a business in a box. The franchisor has already created a concept then proven that it will work in multiple markets. And sometimes they hold your hand during the opening process. They'll give you the exact steps to open and the resources that you'll need to start a pet business. When owning a franchise, you'll have to accept some franchise rules and you may be required to pay them monthly royalties or licensing fees. A benefit to going the franchise route is national and regional marketing support and better pricing on products and services that you use. And you can find a franchise in almost every niche within the pet industry. For more on pet industry franchises, check out our blog. I'll link it in the description and it includes five of our favorite franchises and how to navigate the process. Avenue three is buying an existing business. There are lots of local pet businesses who have been running their businesses for decades and they are currently thinking about retirement or they're wondering what's next for them. The biggest benefit to buying an existing business is that you have immediate customers and immediate revenue the next day. You can easily project how much revenue should come in that month, that quarter, and even the year. And if the business has a team, you will have trained support right away to help you keep that business running smoothly. To find businesses looking to sell, you can certainly approach one in your area and let them know that you're interested in learning more about purchasing their business when they're ready to sell. You could also check out websites like bizbysell.com or work with a local business broker. We also have access to a long list of pet professionals who are ready to exit and in a podcast even titled Crucial Factors to Consider When Buying a Pet Business. I'll also link to that below. So once you decide which path is best for you, you'll be able to officially get started. I've had lots of experience running pet businesses and I know you can do it too. Now I help thousands of pet pros across the US and Canada. I'd love for you to stay tuned for my next video and I'll share a little bit more about my journey and what has allowed me to be successful so that you can too. Until next time, keep dreaming about that future pet business. Oh, oh, oh.